I know they are only herbivores in there, Robin, but they have big feet, and they aren't very discriminating. Herbivores also attract predators, and you don't want to become a snack now, do you? It's not particularly wise to heedlessly follow your friend everywhere. Not like it's sniffing out another Higgs unit, is it? Hey girl, not so fast! Why must it constantly cause trouble? Aha! I'm not the only one who finds your pet disturbing. This herd of long necks are grazing peacefully. It would be a wise idea to explore this area before something worse than your pet arrives. Remember to view them in the infratarium. You won't be able to stride through the tar flow like the long necks, so you'll have to find another way to get from island to island. Getting stuck would be deadly. This is too far to jump. You'll need something to cross the gap. I think that debris is holding it firm. Done. That should be sturdy enough to be used as a bridge. I'd rather you use that than try to swim. Scan successful.
Processing now. Find a way over here. Fortunately, it's quite a narrow gap. Get here. Never seen her from this angle. She's huge. We're still only really seeing the tip of the iceberg. The Esmeralda was truly a magnificent piece of engineering. Careful, you don't know when he'll rear up. These long necks are easily spooked. We need some debris to make another bridge. That piece looks large enough, but this chap's blocking it. He needs to move. Tell your pet to bark at the long neck. That might work. Like a roar! Let me help you solve this one.
go there. I think I can be of service here. Can't do it. Come. Go roar. Good. I must concede that it does have some use. Ah, I thought he'd walk away and we'd be free to cross. I hope you're not thinking about going under the long neck. Robin, over here. Go, go! Like a roar! Follow! Go there! Get here! Roar! Roar! Excellent. Follow. Robin. Look. Come! A construction Higgs. It'll have some interesting data, and it was surprisingly easy to get to. It can't follow that command. Improper use of DSEV property. Higgs units have a lot of functions, but nutrition is not one of them. mouth is still too high up. I suppose there's a reason we call them long necks, though. That outcrop over there is higher. I calculate that you could reach its head from there.
good thinking. Maybe it's hungry. suspicion that these things are always hungry. Can you find something more appetizing? I never thought a dinosaur that large would be so picky. That Higgs unit is the same color as those orange fruits. Think there's a connection? Let me help you solve this one. We should mend this. Oh! I can be of service here. Let me help you solve this one. Can I help you with this?
Let me help you solve this one. I think I can be of service here. Let me help you solve this one. See if it likes the fruit. I thought so. It was the color. Finally. Got it. Well done. Quick, Robin, scan the Higgs. We don't know if it's acquired a taste for Higgs units now. Construction Higgs unit 7238 reporting. Commander Hamilton addressing you directly. We have experienced a Class Alpha Deep Space event. We don't know what it was. That's why we're bringing you online. You will take charge. Is the damage internal or external? External. The main engines went offline briefly, so you'll need to investigate that, but we have zero functionality from our outboard systems. We received a message of Earth origin just before the wave of destruction hit. Engines are sub-functional. We can still reach Tyson 3, but it will take significantly longer. Deceleration will be especially impacted. Was there anything in that message from Earth to warn us about the event? No, there was nothing. Can't even be sure it was from Earth, but it was Earth data, all right. Packets checked out. Handshake protocols were different, but you'd expect that. We've been in space nearly a century now, but we know our protocols. This comes from a different source. You need to go outside. We need our comm systems back online. We need to get back in contact with Earth, with Tyson 3. We need to get the rest of that message. It's bad, Commander. Structural damage is minimal, but the exterior of the ship has been electronically sandblasted. We're never getting comms back online without a complete ship refit. But it gets worse. Our life support systems are falling off a cliff. Solar panels, heat exchange tiles, waste recycling, air filters, anything with a connection to the outside is wiped. I think we can get some functionality back, but it will cost us. Life on the Esmeralda is going to be different from now on. Life's going to get tough. Did this event cause us to crash? Indirectly, yes. We still made it to Tyson 3, but there were some problems that were never resolved.
see that flash? There's something in the geyser. It's too quick, Robin. We'll have to find another way to get it out. Try scooping it right out, just like fishing. Don't try and copy your pet's example. You won't be able to jump from rock to rock like it can. You're going to leave that baby there. There was value in that adventure. You learned something about the wildlife here, and that's no bad thing. Maybe we can come back here again sometime. It doesn't seem so dangerous after all. Destroy the nest, Robin. You won't seriously harm them, but you will send them a message. Going home already? Good. Very sensible. Looking for those Higgs units puts you in unnecessary danger. No need to find any more.
Your setting is quite the naturalist. This is pod 3091659, broadcasting on all frequencies. If there are any other survivors out there, let me know. Higgs is getting pretty lonely.